A group of 26 community wildlife conservancies came together in a celebration of eight years of management by the Northern Rangelands Trust in Kenya. Uh, you know, it's a celebration mm -hmm. of, of a lot of hard work. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of animals that are alive that wouldn't be alive yeah. if it wasn't for NRT. There's a lot of people employed that wouldn't otherwise have employment if it wasn't for wildlife. Uh, and there's a lot of dollars rolling into Kenya thanks to NRT and the communities and the support of KWS and, and government. So, no, proud day. Over 1,000 students benefited by school and university bursaries in 2011 and the benefits continue to grow. So the benefits are many, uh, including peace. Now they're able to, um, um, you, you know, live peacefully, you know, unlike in the past where in some areas, uh, areas like Sarah, uh, you, people can do sleep uh, with their shoes on, but currently uh, the area is peaceful. The Gabra, Burana, Rendile, Somali and Samburu communities were just a few of the many tribes that came together in a colourful show of appreciation and gratitude for wildlife. Amid dances with strong messages for wildlife and the need to protect it was the hard reality of poaching. This is the Kalama Conservancy, an area in northern Kenya rich and diverse in wildlife. Just three days before we arrived for the open day, there were reports of three poached elephants about 20 kilometers away. We couldn't confirm this, but Kenya is losing elephants almost on a daily basis. The trouble is this poaching is so valuable, you know, it's turning good people into bad people. We live with illegal firearms up here and, and elephants are very easy to kill. And, and so the, the real issue is the value and the demand. But the bottom line as far as NRT is concerned and communities are concerned, it's ongoing support from government and the provision of Kenya Police Reserve and the training from Kenya KWS to support that. And it's just bringing communities together on a constant basis to remind them of the value of that wildlife. Northern Rangelands Trust has employed a multi-ethnic team of rangers to work closely with the Kenya Wildlife Services. So this plan we have published uh, today as well and we will share this with everyone. Uh, the significant features of this are the growth of NRT to Masabit and to the coast where we have established uh, the North Coast Conservation. Uh, in Masabit, three new conservancies. So the expansion of NRT and its successes is on track. With over 700 jobs directly created by these conservancies, the communities are thriving and NRT has launched a five-year strategic plan that looks to include other regions and create more wildlife conservation areas across the country. This was an area previously known to be notorious for cattle raiding, rustling and theft. But since the Northern Rangelands Trust moved in with their community conservation model, things have changed and the community couldn't be happier. Reporting from Kalama Conservancy, I'm Rabia Hawa for Abra News Africa.